Shortly after a little rest, we'll be, leaving, we'll be having a bus tour of Barcelona. Keep watching. Are you still in space or out of space? Oh, we're, at, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're, there's a lot of space out here. No, what we might not mind. The arena was last used in 1979 for bullfighting. Now it's uh, a commercial center inside. And we're traveling towards the Plaza de España, which is the main square in Barcelona. Uh, it's uh, under reconstruction at the moment, as you can see. And uh, we near the entrance of the 1929 World Exhibition and they build this two tower which resemble the tower in uh, Piazza San Marco in Venice for the inauguration of the exhibition, the World Exhibition in 1929. These jets of water that spurt water and uh, it's mixed with lights and music and if you've ever seen to get a photo so uh, with the photo, we'll just be off the coach for just a few minutes. Uh, you get a really beautiful view of the skyline and uh, you'll be able to see those big ticket items like the Sagrada Familia in the distance. So uh, you don't need to take anything off the coach, it's literally a flight. And now we're going to pass the National Museum to have a, a beautiful view of uh, Barcelona uh, here we can see in the distance the Sagrada Familia has grown up. Beautiful. Barcelona, Arca. Very, very beautiful there. The largest one holds about 6,000 people, so it's absolutely massive. Uh, multiple in the city in a day. You can imagine just how much of an impact that makes on the entire city, having uh, more than kind of 10,000 people coming in. Uh, there's a big shopping mall, and if anyone's interested in doing some shopping, that is a good place to go. But there's also a big aquarium there. Well, I didn't talk about it, but people had asked me, so I thought I'd let you know. But right in front, that is Christopher Columbus, and uh, what he's pointing towards is the Americas. And on the right-hand side, that is the Air Magnum. So that's the big shopping mall, and those blue and white banners just below in their magnum, that is El Chibron. So that is where we are having our dinner tonight. So it's a, a really nice restaurant uh, that looks out over onto the port and the harbour, and uh, we'll be able to have a, a nice.
ready for dinner. Close to the water. Piano col vino. All right, good, eh? Fantastic. Come last night. Come and I reckon this is the worst paella I ever had in my life. The rice is uh, cooked but not uh, broken like it should be. The seafood is miserable quality. Not a very good uh, dinner. I can't keep on putting all these beautiful faces. I realized last night that you're breaking my screen. <laughs> Good morning to all. Red means Mount Serrated, so Serrated Mountain. It's a very, very unique rock formation. It has an interesting geological explanation that we would just provide once we see those rocks from closer. River, we're gonna be leaving behind the Christian bank of the river, and we are gonna be getting across to the Muslim bank of the river. We'll explain that. That river will show us the way to Montserrat, because that river goes by the footstep of the mountain and that river had been a border between the Christian world and the Muslim world right in the Middle Ages, so let's say a thousand years ago and for more than 200 years. So ex explaining that with a little bit more detail, Pyrenees on the left hand side but we have said that this is also a natural park suitable for the practice of sports and nature related activities so we have here uh, hang gliders paragliders a lot of people in Europe after the Spanish Civil War that lasted until the man died in 1975 then the climbers that want to have an early start they could spend here the night and have an early start the following day. And look, now we'll have views on the left-hand side eat to give an interview to a French newspaper, which was and still is very reputed. It's called I got the bottle, thank you. That's the Basilica of Mozart.
And now let's uh, have a look at on the other side of this uh, beautiful uh, uh, mountain, uh, Montserrat, which means uh, a cut mountain. Uh, the view is like looking at the sculpture by the nature, which is uh, created this magnificent uh, view. Uh, the valley below, and uh, it's really like a picture postcard every corner you take a look it's magnificent nature at its best like they say Incredible work eh? that they've done. This is inside the basilica. This, this basilica was started by Pilar and then finished by Gaudi. In 
as the queue to go up to touch the Madonna. Yeah. It's getting bigger and bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Longer and longer. Hmm. A really mystical place. This is uh, the monastery of Montserrat. And uh, they say that the monk of this uh, monastery, the Benedictine monks, are one of the richest in Spain. As you can see by the construction, uh, must have cost a, a lot of, lot of money to do all the work that they've done. And they still live here. I think there's about 60 monks in the monastery. And then of course you got all the nuns and visitors and like a hotel which is the the hotel. Let's have a look what the name of the hotel is. Hotel Abad Sincero, which uh, okay. tra translated in English is the hostel of the Abbot of Sinier. Okay. Where I, where I lived, we used to have a little two-bedroom property uh -huh. that I used to rent. And right. it got old, so we knocked it down. But every year, we had you know, tens and tens of thousands of bees come yeah, to the silk place really? and make honey. Oh, beautiful. So the beautiful area. Now we going back to catch the bus to take us uh, back to Barcelona and down in the distance you probably can see Barcelona it's a misty day not clear but that's the road that will be descending shortly Buenos dias of Monistrol crossed by the river and that is where we have the lower station of the zipper train. Look at all the beautiful food, huh? Eh? For you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you drink, I'll, I'll drink with you, man. All right? Or drinking. <laughs> Keep on going, no worry. Don't stop because of me. You already know on the cream brulee. Oh, already. Wow. You're a quick achiever. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, Benetta. This is supposed to be the first meal. Yeah, I know, I leave it to last. You know how you were saying the other day? That's me. <laughs> Sangria. Sangria. Very nice. Nice and cool. Very nice. Oh, these people I don't need to interview. Oh. 
the, the rapid way of my video. We VIP. No. Yeah, we will be going up there, you and I. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we got you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tableo Flamenco Cordobés. Hola. <laughs>